Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the front and rear deck covers on the Apollo Explorer or Ghost. The tools needed for this job are a battery drill, a hot glue gun, some electrical tape, a 2.5 millimeter bit, some zip ties, a terminal extractor, a five and a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, a flush cutter, an X-Acto knife, adjustable pliers, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now the first step in the process will be to remove the grip tape. So we're gonna take an X-Acto knife and gently lift our grip tape off of the deck and then pull it away gently to not rip the grip tape up. Now, as this grip tape has some holes in it, we'll be changing it, but as much as possible, we want to keep the same grip tapes on the scooters for as long as possible. There we go. Now we can just take some towels and remove the dust and grime to not get any of that into the deck. And we can now open our deck. We can now take our 2.5 millimeter bit and remove our deck screws. And for the last screw, we're gonna use our Allen key because we cannot directly access the screw with our drill. Just like that. Now for the deck plate, we just need a flat tool to pry it out. So in this case, I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. And just like that, we have access to the scooter's deck. The next thing we'll do is remove the foam right here. So I'm just gonna take my Allen key and prop it out just like that so we can have access to the controller and wires. The next step is to disconnect our battery and remove it from the deck to have more workspace and just to be overall safer. We can then pull our charging ports Just like this and we can now remove our battery from the deck just like that we can now tuck our two charging ports into the hole just to have more workspace and get them out the way just like that and we can then remove the light box right here and pull the controller out just like this. Now to remove the rear deck cover, we have four screws, the two on top, the one on the side, and one on the bottom. So we're gonna start by removing the two on top. There we go. Next up, we can remove the one on the side, just like that. And lastly, the one on the bottom just like this. We can now gently pull the cover off to free up the light right here. So we can now trace our LED wire. So we can see this is our wire and we can trace it to this connector right here. So we can take our flush cutters and cut the zip tie like this and pull the connector out. We can then gently pull the wire out of the deck just like this and we can then pull from the back and take it all the way out. And we now have our deck cover and light apart from the scooter. Now that the deck cover is free we can take our flush cutters and remove the hot glue on the LED. We can now take our adjustable pliers and remove the nut to free the LED. Just 
looks like this. Now that the net is free, we can remove the terminals from the connector with our terminal extractor. So we're now gonna take our terminal extractor to depin our two terminals. And that's one and two. Let's keep this for later. We can now remove the nut and put it aside. Now the last step will be to remove the two screws on the cover. And there we go. We can now take the light cover off and remove the LED. With our new LED, we can now reinstall it into the deck cover. We can now pass our LED wires into the deck cover and install the light just like this. We can now take our nut and reinstall it onto the LED. We can then tighten it with our pliers. That should do it. We can now take our light cover and install it in its proper place. So once we have it positioned here, we can take our screws and screw them back in. Good. We can now take our hot glue gun and seal the LED. Now while the glue gun heats up, we will reinstall our connector. So as always, we want the black wire on the right side and the red wire on the left side. So we can insert them just like this. And as always, we can take our terminal extractor to gently push them in. see they're locked in and we can now take our hot glue gun and layer it on to seal the LED in place. That's perfect. We're going to let that dry for now. Now a neat trick when reinserting the wire into the deck is to take an old wire and tape it to the connector to fish it out without damaging the connector itself. Just like this, and we can pull. We can now remove the tape and put the wire away. We can now relieve all the tension from the wire. Make sure to insert the power cable into the slot, and we can push our cover back on the deck. Just like that. We can now screw it back in. And always remember, the silver screws are for the bottom of the deck. And now for the last one. And there we go. Our rear deck cover is now secure. We can now feed the LED wire back into the deck and reconnect it to the light box right here. We can now take a zip tie and secure the connectors together. Just like this, and we can cut the excess off. We can now take our Phillips screwdriver and remove our four top screws.
Now let's go on the underside and remove the screws there. Now we have two screws on the side of the deck and three at the bottom. So we'll start with the two on the side. That is one. And two. We can then remove the three screws at the bottom. And there we go. Now, as you may know, to remove the brake line, we're gonna take our five millimeter Allen key and unscrew the caliper right here. We can also take the little cover off so that our brake line can flow through. We can simply pull our brake line out of the caliper and push it through the deck. And we'll go on the other side to pull it all the way. So now we can gently pull the rest of our line out and let it hang for now. Now the next step will be to take the front cover off of the deck, just like this, but don't pull too hard because all the cables pass through right here. Now to get the front cover completely off, we first have to trace our two LED cables and disconnect them from the light box. So we can cut the zip ties holding them together and we can disconnect them completely. That's one and two. We can now pull them out of the deck just like that. Now to completely remove the front cover itself, we need to get these wires out of this hole right here. So what we need to do for starters is cut this rubber gasket. When cutting this, make sure not cut any wires with it. We can remove that for now. And we can also disconnect our headlight wire. Just like this. Now this might get a little bit tricky because we have to pull these wires out of the hole. So this is our first one. We can now disconnect our comm cable from the controller. This one right here. There we go. And the last two wires we have is our LED strip wire, which we can also pull out right now. And the last wire left is our brake sensor wire. As we can see, it's one of the only connectors that the wires don't match. So it goes red to white to white to black. So let's remember this when putting it back together later. We can disconnect this one too and pull it out the front of the deck. So we can now remove our brake sensor wire just like this. And lastly is our comm cable, which is just a bit too big to pass through the hole. Now to remove this comm cable wire, we just need to make a little incision into the cover. This will enable us to remove the comm cable from the front cover just like this. Now that the front cover is off, we have more free space to depin all the terminals we have in the comm cable as we'll not be able to pass it on the new front cover. With the connector out, we can take our new front cover and reinstall it. Now that we have our new cover here, we want to install the light covers. So, same principle as changing an LED on this same model. We want to screw the covers in 
and for this we're taking the screws from the previous cover. Same thing on the other side, make sure to align it. There we go. This is now ready to be installed on the scooter. So what we can start by doing is inserting our brake sensor cable and one of our light cables. We can then take our comm cable and insert the terminals inside the deck cover where we can now put our connector back on. So we will insert the blue, the red, and the green in the first three slots, just like this. And then black, yellow, and white in the last three. Just like that. Now here's a closer look at what your comm cable should look like on the Apollo Explorer Ghost. So we can see it's white, yellow, black, green, red, and blue. The last step here will be to insert our last light connector, just like this. So we can now put the front cover in its proper position and insert the cables inside the deck. So first we're gonna start with this light cable, the shorter one, we'll connect it to the longer one right here. And we have the shorter one from the light box, which we will connect to the longer one coming down from the wire harness. Just like that. We can now pass our brake sensor and comm cable all the way in. Since our hole is to the right, we'll pass it in the right window of the front of the deck. We can now tuck the rest of the wires in and we can also insert our two LED cables into the deck. Now that all the cables are in, we can go on top view of the deck and reconnect our connectors. Now that everything is inserted into the deck, even though it's not plugged in yet, we can just plop our front cover onto our deck. Just like that. And we can now start connecting our cables. So first of all, we have our brake sensor cable, which will connect to this right here. There we go. We then have our comm cable right here, which will be connected just like this. And lastly, we have our two LEDs which will be connected to the light box. It doesn't matter which way we plug the LEDs in, they'll work both ways. The process to reinsert the brake line is fairly simple. We gently feed it through the deck and out the back. So let's go to the back and pull it all the way out. We can now pull the rest of our brake line out and insert it into the caliper. That should do it. We can now just roughly adjust the caliper. And there we go. Now before we start closing everything up, we're gonna take our battery, connect it to the controller, and make sure everything works. There we go. We can now turn the scooter on, turn the lights on. As we can see, both of our LEDs in the front work and both of our LEDs in the back work. We're gonna test our brake sensors. They do work. And obviously, because the display is on, the comm cable is operational. So we can even test the motor 
and it works fine. So now that we know everything works, we can unplug the battery. We can now screw our deck cover screws back in. We're now gonna do the other side right here. And sometimes you will have to push on the deck cover to get it in the right place. We're now gonna insert our three silver bottom screws. That is one. Now these often come cross-threaded, so try to reinsert them the same way they came out. We can now take our side screw and insert it back into the deck. There we go. Now let's head to the other side and finish screwing the screws. There we go. And for the last screw on the side here, Just like that. Now our deck is completely secure. We can now take our controller and put it back in its primary spot. Right there. We can then insert all of the wires where they were at the beginning. And the same thing with the light box. Now these wires don't need to be exactly as they were, but we need to leave enough space for the battery before we do the rest. So we can now reinsert our battery into our deck, just like this. And if you remember at the start, we tucked our two charging ports into the hole. We will now take them out and reconnect them. That's one, two, and finally our battery cable. It's normal to spark when you're reconnecting the power cable, so don't be alarmed if it does spark. We can now finish reinserting all of our wires. And this right here should do it. Now the big foam piece that was here before is not absolutely needed, but it is recommended that if you can fit it back in its place, we do. So we're at least gonna put this in here to stop the controller from moving up and down. Now, before we put the deck plate back on, we want to make sure our gasket is still on the deck. As we can see, we had no need to remove it and that all the cables are inside the deck and not in between the deck plate and the gasket. So we can now put the deck plate in position and screw it back in. Now I am using a battery drill to put the screws back in, but we do not want to strip them. So this is strictly to get them in place and we'll tighten them with our Allen key after. And the last one of course is in between the folding mechanism which we can't reach with our drill. It's good. We can tighten all of them with our Allen key. That's perfect. Now the last step is to reinstall our grip tape. Now for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be installing a new grip tape, but in general, we try to reuse our grip tapes as much as possible, unless it is torn or unusable. So the first step will be to flip it over and remove the protective film. For this, I'll just take an X-Acto knife and separate the film from the grip. 
Now installing a grip tape is a job best done by two people, but you can do it alone. Just like this. We want to make sure there are no air bubbles. And we want to press it down to make sure it sticks. That's perfect. And that's how you change the front and rear deck LEDs on the Apollo Explorer Ghost.